What's going on, good people? So today, we cooking with grilling squash. What's a grilling squash? Let's find out together. So this is a grilling squash. This little green, round, different type of squash. We gonna peel it up, and then we gonna cut it. All right, so while I'm peeling this, I'm also gonna peel a couple of potatoes. So let's do this. All right, now the guy at the market told me that they are good to cube up, but also to cut like steaks. And uh, steak them. Now, I ain't gonna lie, it's been in my fridge for like two weeks. And I can see it's a little soft right there, so I'm hoping it's not mushy in the middle. And there it is. A little soft, firm on the edges. Could be soft, like I said, it's been in the fridge for two weeks. But we're gonna cook that baby up. And this is actually okay by itself. It was eating it raw. It's actually okay. Hmm. But. You know we're gonna make it better. So we're gonna lay these babies out. We're gonna hit it with that M9 all-purpose seasoning. Uh, hit the other side. Now we're going over to the grill. Now we over at the grill. And you know we're gonna lay these babies in here. Put a little angle. They did say it's good cut up. You can put it outside on a big grill, but I don't feel like going outside today, so we're gonna do it inside. And we're gonna give it like five minutes on each side. All right, so while those vegetables are healthy and good for you, they're not always exciting to eat. So we're gonna make this baby exciting. First, we're gonna get us a half an onion, and we're gonna put it into some slivers. And now we got us some mushrooms. Yep, that was a cutting board. We're gonna get us some mushrooms, and we're just gonna cut these babies down however you want to. You can make them into some little cubes. I'm gonna leave them into some slices. That's good. Let's get this pan going. We're gonna turn it on on some medium heat. Get a little oil down in there. Oil is heated up. We're going in with our mushrooms and onions. We're gonna let these babies cook down for a while. Let them cook. Flip these babies over. Those nice lines. So we can't forget about the potatoes. So these potatoes are for the crunch factor. So we're going to slice them and then we're going to dice them up into some small pieces. So then we hit them in the pan, get that little crunchy action going on. about a quarter to a half a cup of onions slivers and we're just gonna break them down just a little bit more get a little rough chop through them and we're gonna wait a second now that our onions and mushrooms are cooked down to this stage we're gonna go in with a knob of butter just about two tablespoons worth we're gonna give it about a quarter cup of some sherry cooking oil and heat it through we're gonna go in with some heavy cream if you got one of those small pints that's about what you need a half of a small pint we're gonna let this cook for a minute you don't want to get it thick you just want it nice and warm all right and now he's next three to five minutes up. We're gonna get this first round off. Plate these babies. 
And then we're gonna do the same thing with the next bit. Towels, sauce. We're gonna give it an extra dose of the garlic powder. And then, you guessed it, we're gonna hit it with the M9 all purpose seasoning. Get that baby a mix. And we can turn the heat off at this point because you don't want it too thick for this application. If it does get a little too thick, give it another splash of that uh, sherry cooking wine. Right, we're going to remove it from the heat. It's done. Bring this other pan into the heat. Back on some medium heat. Going to get us a little more oil going on. All right, now that this oil is heated up, we're going in with our potatoes and almonds. We're going to let these get brown and crispy. This is going to be the crunch factor of our meal today. Now, as much as it pains me, I am trying to make a saltless seasoning, so I'm going to use this big names saltless seasoning to flavor this crunchy portion today just to see what it tastes like just need just maybe one more minute to toast and it'll be ready to go I'm not getting a big fragrance just garlic smell all right so when they say saltless they mean saltless The heat is off now. We're ready to plate. Got our plate. We're gonna go down with our squash. Let's try to turn this baby in study. Get a little crunch factor right here. Top with our onion and mushroom sauce slash gravy, however you want to look at it. Not that big of a difference between the two. And if it, there we go, tones. And just a little bit more crunch over top. And there you have your grip. Wait, a little parsley for garnish. And there you have your Grilla Squash Steak. Y'all enjoy that. Let's taste some. Everything else got salt. It's just okay. that part. All right. Get the centerpiece with that good sauce. Crunchy bitch. I'm a bit. Get that squash. Mm. That is good. Y'all enjoy that for real. 